TV's podcast and YouTube channel. We are your hosts, George Goody, with my dog, Chris Off the Third. <laughs> and special guest, <laughs> Louis B. Of I don't even know if we have another team score. Another score. LG, yes. baby. Yes. Half of Team Us yeah. is yes. out here. Yeah, yeah. Introduce yourself, sir. Here for you. Tell us a little bit about what Team Us underscore LG is about. Uh, well, I started that really motivation because of my boys right here. Um, it's really just a page of me and my lady. We make uh, videos about uh, uh, Shout the out travel. To German. Hema. German. Uh, German. That's your name, German. Going out with a German? <laughs> Emma, Emma. We make videos about when we travel, reviews on restaurants, and just kind of, I guess, not really relationship advice, but maybe if anybody needs advice, maybe relationship advice, and you know, just really motivation in general. Like these gentlemen right here, just trying to motivate everybody, you know, because we're basically just the nobodies that's trying to be somebody. That's all it is. That's all right. I like that. I like that. But I very, think very that, you know, that's awesome, but we actually brought Lewis on today because he's going to talk to us and we're going to discuss a topic to that he's passionate stuff. about, right? Because at the end of the day, this is all about conversation. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn about Italy, keep following the IG page, the YouTube link, all the good stuff. We're going to add it on. But tell us, Lewis, what do you want to talk about today? So I came on to my brother's uh, show. By the way, we've known each other, guys, freaking decades. Yep. We grew up jits. And I feel like this is going to be such a beautiful story in the future because... You know, one of us, you know, the goal is for one of us to make it. If one I of mean, us makes it, we'll be all right. The I rest mean, will be the entourage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can freeload off another one. So, exactly. that, that's a... <laughs> so yeah, so uh, basically, uh, we brought on uh, Lewis today to kind of discuss a little bit about uh, mentorships we wanted to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we brought that topic is interesting, right? Because, so a lot of people, in, especially nowadays, you know, you have people that pay for that, right? You pay for mentorships. People that need mentorships in order to grow, you hear that you need mentorships. Um, I think, you know, me and you discussed this a little bit before. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to have opposing views. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. What do you think about mentorships? Okay, so basically what I wanted to talk to, and the question is this. Who, and I don't want to say it's so specific as a mentorship. I, this is just my question because I think, you know, the audience deserves to, for us to answer a question. Who here wants to accomplish a goal that they set? Everyone, everyone. Everybody, right? Everybody, I don't care if it's losing weight, if it's uh, finance, if it's um, uh, a drug addiction or some sort of addiction. You know, everybody has a certain goal that you want to accomplish in a specific amount of time, okay? And why am I... Uh, a uh, somebody that's qualified to speak on this because I mean at the end of the day you know you want to listen to somebody that's that might be qualified to speak I don't think I'm no one that's qualified to speak on you know accomplishing goals because I haven't accomplished all my goals yet I think I'm on the path and I think I feel um, like that's not a cocky thing for me to say I think that's you feel just, confident. honestly I'm confident to, to say that and I'm in my work. path to be able right, to right. Uh, accomplish some of my goals and it's, and it's not cocky like he said when you're putting in the work you know mm -hmm. you're working mm -hmm. for it then you know it definitely is something to mm -hmm. to kind of let people know about regardless right you know, like to know that the hard work is what it takes so right it's no... so my goals might not be everybody else's goals but my goals basically was to up my finance how is it that i can make more money and from 2017 in 2017 i had about three different jobs in a span of 12 months i had about three different jobs made uh I don't want to talk too much about the actual money, but now I've been able to about triple my income from one year, like over triple, you know, I've done yeah. the math, you know, I'm setting up, I've basically been able to over triple um, the amount of money I make. So who is ready for that? You know, aren't you guys, you know, if you guys, you know, want a bigger income, do you think a year is, uh, a year's time is enough time for you to triple your income? Well, uh, the, well in the market we're in now, in a month, you can how, triple how, your income. Right, 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 right. But so, look at how people are living in just a regular day now. Like, you know, people after, like, three years of working in the same company got a raise for, like, $2,000. Yeah. You know, who's ready to triple their income, right? I hope, you know, a lot of you guys that are trying to up your finance are ready to triple your income. But to be able to do something like this, um, you have to look at the people that have already done that. 
To be able to be stars in for social media or to be able to up your popularity, you guys have to look at whoever's already done that, right? Yeah. Who, who, who was it? Was it was it Plato's that taught who? Who was the best? What you're saying? Yeah, yeah. the nah, teacher, teacher. I, I, I didn't know you were talking about. I, Aristotle, Plato. Yeah, 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 the whole teacher. I, yeah. I, I honestly know, but I know. Twelve Socrates. disciples followed Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Kobe followed Michael Jordan, right? Yeah. So. And you don't necessarily have to even know that person that is your mentor. You just, you know, watch him. You know, Kobe didn't know Michael Jordan. He watched Michael Jordan play. You know, so that is what has changed my, um, uh, has, has put me to my role to accomplish my goals. Being able to find who is doing that, whether that's reading books, whether that's finding somebody physically that you know that has already done that and just learning from them. Um, that is how I've been able to, yeah. you know, get to my to the road of my goals. You find your mentor, or you uh, watch videos on YouTube, or you read up on the people that have already done that, and you mimic. Yeah, you know, and I think I think it's interesting that you say that because I think you you did hit around the nail, right? So to add on, I will also say is the people you have around you, mm -hmm. right? So like you know the friends that you have around you mm -hmm. can also motivate you and 100%. also hundred percent, right? And they're going to yeah. Well, they should. How many jobs have you had, Chris? In total, mm -hmm. only three. Okay, only three jobs. What happens on your first day of work? You just follow somebody. You shadow somebody. You shadow somebody, right? Yeah. And is it a lie to say that there's this group of people at everybody's job that just complains, works Monday through Friday, and then they just party the weekend? Mm -hmm. Sounds like uh, pretty much 99% yeah. of the people. Yeah. Those are 99%. So what does it take to be that 1%? Passion. Mm -hmm. I don't know, perseverance. And be willing to ambition. Work. And, yeah. And, I and think ambition. It really is. Look, you know, we're just saying this now, like, right? It, it's so... Ultimately, you're, as long as your ambitions are matching the words that are coming out of your mouth, mm -hmm. then you're good. Mm -hmm. You get me? But a lot of people love to talk yes. about how this, that, the third, I want this, I want that. Mm -hmm. But their actions are not matching their ambitions. That's the 99. That's, so also that's part of yeah. 99. So, you know, everybody talks about how they want, you know, the big house and the big car and the big whatever. You know, like whatever material thing that you're talking about that requires your money. Mm -hmm. But then you're not necessarily putting in the work, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, outside of just... Talking with friends or you know putting it up on Instagram mm -hmm. or whatever. We're fantasizing right? about it. Yeah, just and, and you don't really Pinterest boards. Yeah. So I have this one guy in my company and he's been in sales for like ten years. You know how much that guy makes? That makes that guy makes three hundred and fifty thousand a year set. It's it's set that he's gonna make that. Not just in our job. part of the one percent. Yeah. Yes. Not not just he in our job, but he he also he also owns properties, right? You know what's funny? I see this guy, and nobody likes him. Why? Because he's successful. Why? Wait. And he's probably arrogant. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to say because he's successful. I mean, he's probably arrogant about it. Some hate does he's, come he's, with He's not. Money. He's not. I've seen this guy. He's not arrogant. He's 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 still a sales guy. You know, it's it's kind of hard for him to be arrogant if he sales down. You know, yeah. on our field. Um, no, a little bit about this guy. This guy, he he works his ass off, and you know, I see some people around me like kind of like make fun of him, and I'm like, I ask myself, mm, like, why? I get you. Why, why, why do you make fun of success? He's not arrogant. He's not. Why do you make fun of success? He's done the things that you probably wish he could. that we want to do. So that is an example of the ninety-nine against the one. And the crazy thing is that when you're the one, people aren't gonna like you. So it, it kind of has to deal with hate, right? Because I mean, yeah. So I kind of like, I, I kind of get where you're coming from. So it's almost like. Like, oh, it's like, so we're all doing, you know, working and we're all making this and then you're kind of doing more than us. Like, why are you doing more than mm -hmm. us, right? It's kind of like a question. Mm -hmm. I think that, you see, that, that comes from being able to deploy self-awareness, mm -hmm. right? Like, if you can't deploy self-awareness and catch yourself in those moments, then you you unknowingly become a hater, mm -hmm. right? Like, mm -hmm. essentially. So, that is it's interesting that you bring that up. But the, another part I'm going to say is, so... How about, you know, so, you know, we talk about how we have to view, right? Like these mm -hmm. mentors and we kind of have to imitate them because, yeah, we should imitate success. Like, you know, people who are doing something that we want to do, we should, you know, more or less see mm -hmm. how they did it, you know, so we kind of like get on our own path, right? Mm -hmm. But the reason why I was going to say you know, have an opposing view is because then I have to say is how did they find their success? Did they have a mentor or did they figure it out? Because I feel like somebody at some point... Has to be a trailblazer. Yeah, had to be somebody who a just set that blazer. trend, you know, mm -hmm. or set or, or figured it out themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like who is that person and 
I guess, like, how do you become that person? How do you set on that trend? Because, like, like we're talking about, right? Like, what we're doing to, like, I, I look, I'm sure that there's people that we know, right? That, like I said, like, you look at us and, like, you're like, what the, like, what are you guys doing? You know, like, you guys are, like, clowns on freaking, you know. Hate on us, baby. Hate on them, baby. No, you know, like, and, and I'm sure there is, and I don't blame you. Mm-hmm. I don't blame you for not understanding you. But I tell mm-hmm. Chris, like, I have, you know, I, like, I feel like me and Chris share a vision for this, you know, mm-hmm. this is to grow mm-hmm. f- for this, you know, mm-hmm. to be able to like, you know, whether whether it's to inspire motivation, whether it's to inspire conversation with you and your parents, you and your friends, but we at, at the end of the day, you know, we have certain goals that we want to do with this, mm-hmm. right, which is grow this and, you know, potentially be a company one day and be able to help others, to right, give them a platform. to give them a platform, yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, and to be able yeah, to grow, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and we tell you, like, you know, it's, it's not about money, like, we need money, you right. know, like, don't get that wrong, don't get it twisted, you know, we want some things, there's things that we want, you know, that we that, need, yeah, we need, and, you know, it is about money, mm-hmm. but I think that the thing that has to stay true is the why. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Is it just for money? Mm-hmm. Because if it isn't, you know, it's not going to really last. Well, that's you know? the discussion. It's, it's what what is it? You know, what's the goal? That's it. Yeah. Everybody just has to find it. Right, right. I am not mad at anybody that just doesn't want to make $100,000 a year. Right. If you don't want to make $100,000 a year, I mean, that's, that's okay, but... Yeah, where's the why? What is that you're doing? Yeah, because your goal should be happiness. If you're happy making Mm $40,000 a year, you're with your family, you're Mm -hmm. living, whatever, but that's what makes you happy, Mm -hmm. then that should be your goal. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because there is people that are making a million dollars a year, you know? They're miserable. Yeah, there's people that Mm -hmm. that have hundreds of millions because of Facebook's IPO, let's say, and Mm -hmm. they're miserable. You know, Mm -hmm. those are facts. And and you guys hit on a coffin. It's like, you know, there's no number that can define happiness. Mm -hmm. It's what you... Are willing to do with that number where you're willing to look around and, and question like why do i do this you know a lot of people say yo i work hard so my kids don't have to that's your why mm-hmm. right some people are going to say i, I want to do this because i want to give people value and give them something to think about mm-hmm. you know something to challenge the norms you know that's your why you know you, you your, your personality is yo i want to be somebody who can take care of my family somebody mm-hmm. who can take care of myself somebody who can travel mm-hmm. right that's, that's the whole idea of team was is getting new experiences right mm-hmm. you know and all those things are a wise that I think, you know, we need to constantly keep reminding ourselves. Because there's going to be a point where either it, things are growing too fast or things are not growing fast enough. Mm-hmm. And you are going to lose sight of why you started in the first place. You know, success can cause failure and failure can cause success. Either way, you know, if you know how to use it properly. Yep. But you got to keep reminding yourself, I started this not for the success. You know, one thing that you guys can't really see here, but George and I, especially George wrote it down. And now it's become a mantra for me is we have value over likes. Mm-hmm. So we love that you guys like this. We love that you guys retweet. But if we can give value to one person, that's our why. Yeah, definitely. You know, and seeing some of you guys getting up and doing stuff, you know, Team Oz, mm-hmm. uh, your Family now. We're going to put you guys out Which there. Dope. Shout out to uh, you guys. Life of Jan. I'm not allowed to say Life of Pi because it's copyrighted. Right, right. right? But, you know, a lot of you guys that we that's know. That's the first thing I thought. When I speak <laughs> yeah. of Life of Jan, oh, I like that movie. Yeah. Life of Pi. <laughs> you know, but the idea is, you know, we want to just promote Everybody doing their own thing, growing, success. Because that's another thing is, success can be lonely. Mm-hmm. You know, it's nothing better than, than winning with your team, winning with your people around mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. right? And oftentimes you were saying like that 99. That 99 makes it like me against them. Mm-hmm. Why can't I look at somebody no, no, and no. say It should success. never be exactly. me against them. And that's actually another topic I was going to talk about because there are people mm-hmm. that are super successful and have cut off the rest. Yeah. Yo, how dare you? Be this successful mm-hmm. and not help other people that might want to yeah, get and there. There's people who are, there. who are not succeeding and they say, oh, it's against them. I'm competing against them. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's this book that I was reading. It's called How to. Oh, my God. What's it called? It's uh, how to be. It's, oh, my God. Carnegie is the author, man. How to be more likable. OK, I forgot the, the, the rules of attraction. Is that the one? It's not the rules of attraction, but it's it, it was a book that was uh, that that was begun to be written in about 1930s. Right? Like Very Carnegie, old. like and, from Carnegie Hall, like that guy. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. And I think he finished it in like about 1980. So it was it was this book that's been written, you know, forever. But the law is basically this. And I talked I talked to George about this. I talked to George about this. Um. Why, if me and you don't have the same views, why should I put you down? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, why if uh, a customer comes to me to buy a a car, mm-hmm. why can't I, if I don't have what he wants, why can't I just lead him to have what they want? Like, that's just the key. The key is just, you know, happiness, right? Not, not bringing each other down. Just, you know, having just genuine love between each other. Like, 
Think about how happy we could just be if we just all have like genuine love with each other. Think about like you know how, well, how much that, you... the problem with their insecurity. Like I, we assume that you getting what you want means I'm losing what I want. Mm-hmm. You know, whereas like no, like we you know we were talking about it a couple of videos ago. Is the market? If we're talking about finance, is big enough for you, everybody, right? Wait, you want a big house? The world is plenty big for you to have a big house. You can no. win forty thousand a year yeah. and save half of that money and buy a house and be. Yeah, but, but we make it seem like if you're winning, I'm losing. Well, there is no. It shouldn't be a competition between people. And, and you know what it is? I like how you brought that up because you know I I read this yesterday. Um, and it's it's people live on other people's timelines, right? That, oh, so it's that's, and, 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 that's and, and, and I read, th- this what hit me deep. because like a Mercedes Benz is still a Mercedes Benz at the age of sixty five, mm-hmm. right? A million dollars is still a million dollars at the age of 50, mm-hmm. right? Um, a house is still a house at the age of... So wh- wh- whatever you know, you want to add, right? So people think that, oh, I need this right now. You know what I mean? Because it's like... it's like Because like, somebody got why? it. Yeah, like, yo, you don't need to be in a rush. You know, And, and I speak that from, from experience, right? Because like you know, we spoke about mm-hmm. it, right? Like seeing you, seeing you guys, like, go so fast is almost... It gives you like this, like, undeniable sense. Like, yo, I have to... Like, like you're you know, falling behind. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm falling behind. But no, 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 no. And, and we talked about, like, look, your friend's success does not have to be your success. You know what I'm saying? That's their success. Celebrate their success. Mm-hmm. Be happy for them. But everybody, success comes within their own time and within their own hard work. Because I think something important that you told me is that you can't be lazy, right? Mm-hmm. That you can't feel or think that, oh, it's just going to come to me. Like the like the girl from Deadpool yesterday, <laughs> the look, right? That yeah, it's just going to happen. Know. Yeah, like... It's, it's, don't ruin it for me, David. It's just a character. It, trust me, we, you, you, you'll know when you see it. But you know, it's it's true though. Like your know, hard work. At the end of the day, like at the end, of, when you take out, you know, everything, right? Everything, 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 right? The surface, the very foundation of it is hard work. You have to work hard to build up, right? Because people, a lot of times, they like to, you know, to. I know you guys heard, they like to build the biggest building in town. You either tear everybody else's down, or you build the biggest one. Yeah. Right? Your goal is to build. You know, the best always structure. going to be a bigger structure. And this kind of and next, there's always going to be somebody that's bigger than the other person. But, you know, why can't this person over here help this one and this one help this one and this one help this one? And that's help, how, help the climb. you know, we, we help each other climb. Yeah. And it doesn't matter at what speed you do it. Just, you know, just do it. I, I, I want to see you guys grow this. You know, mm-hmm. I want to see you guys continue. That, that's what I want to see. I want to see um, consistency. I, ha- I love this term. It is I am a, um, what is it? I am a... Um, I'm a creature of habit. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay, you have this this idea, or anybody has this idea, just continue the idea. You know, continue the passion. You know, keep growing. That's mm-hmm. you know. Um. So one thing I, I want to say. So for the people out there watching, and you know, you're kind of curious, right? Because one thing that we definitely want to push, especially on this channel, on this podcast, is practicality, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, you come on, you talk all of this. You know, oh man, you know, you feel hyped up. You feel hyped up. But the problem with, uh, you know, like I say, that a lot of these motivational videos or whatever, you know, because I'm not trying to be like the motivational speaker, right? But I, I, I want you to move, right? But for you, you know, in your field or, in, or just in general, what practical advice can you give somebody who's just watching right now who could be super young? What can they do right now at this very moment? Like once they're done watching this video, what can they do to kind of, you know, get that wheel spinning. Because one thing you definitely have to understand is that things don't happen overnight, right? Mm-hmm. Things definitely is a process, right? Things take years and years and years to build. But what's that, maybe that one practical advice that you can give somebody? Uh, are we talking about, like, career? Or yeah, just, about, yeah. Just, just pursuing your mission. You know, and that's, that's, that's what sucks in the U.S. It's like, what is it? What am I supposed to do? That's just the scariest question, isn't it? It is. Who, who wants to sell cars? <laughs> who who well, is born and wants to you know sell cars? So I, that's, that's it's a hard question to answer. But I think the best thing that I can say is educate yourself and leave the people behind that um, you know probably have negativity in your life. You know I'm lucky enough to have my brothers, to have my girlfriend, to have very close friends that are very motivating. But maybe somebody out there, one of you guys, maybe you guys don't have nobody. Call me. 305-479-9442. 305-479-9442. No, not for sales. Joe Kira, search Text me. 
text me, just hit me up. If you need somebody to be there for you, if you need, I don't know, uh, a ride to church, if you need uh, somebody to help you find a, a job or somebody to help you motivate you, you know, that's, that's, that's my job. And again, educate yourself in every form. I, I think uh, I hated reading books, man. And I think education will take you a long way if you just, you know, read, read, right. read. Yeah, yeah. And um, just, you know, leave the negative people behind. And I, and I think, uh, no, in all of that, what you're saying in regards to practicality is, is just be ready to take a step, you know? Because one thing that's amazing is, you know, you're succeeding in your field, right? You, you know, you said you, said you tripled your income, all this, is that you gotta understand not everybody's gonna be willing to give you the keys. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're gonna have to take that inspiration from them, right? And even when they're not willing to give it, just take it. Learn from them, learn from their successes, learn from their mistakes. You know, look at people, look how they approach the day, look how they approach the sale of your selves. Look how they approach their creative, uh, cre creative decisions, yeah. you know, and, and be the student of everybody. You know, not everyone's going to tell you, hey, look, this is my book, this is how I did it. Some people, you're going to have to look at them even though they don't want to give you the keys, mm -hmm. right? But I'm going to tell you this, and this is, this is really, you can determine how much a person is confident by how much they're willing to open up, right? right? Because, like I keep saying, it, is that your success should not define mine. You know, you said it yourself, but I shouldn't have to worry about I'm falling behind where because you're succeeding. No, it's, I, maybe I'm succeeding in a different kind of... My income does not compare to Lewis's. But I do not feel like a failure compared to Lewis either. Yeah. You get me? And I don't see him as less either. Right? Because I understand that where I'm focused at, maybe it's not his focus. Mm -hmm. You know, the same has to be with the conversation we have with you. Like, I look up to you, you being younger than I am, but we have this mindset that our heroes and our role models have to be older... Old, old people. Yeah. You can make your friends your role models. You can make your friends people who influence and encourage you. That's you know, right. so find inspiration everywhere and be a student of anything. And I think that's the point of deal mentorship, right? Mm -hmm. It's because mentorship is not just saying, "Hey, I'm in a program." That's awesome. And some people are gonna be willing to be mentors, mm -hmm. but some people won't. So you find the mentorship in that. You know, why were they so rejected? Why were they so, uh, you know, weary? Why were they so troubled? Why were they this? Okay, now I have the opportunity, I succeeded, I want to be the opposite. You know, that's what you're doing, giving out your number, reaching out to people. You're saying, you know, I've seen the struggle, but I don't want to be the kind of person who shuns people who are struggling. I want to welcome you 100%, 1% right here, baby. That's it, that's all it is. It's, it's like, do things that other people are scared to do, and maybe you'll start a new wave. Like, maybe they'll catch your wave. You just started that little wave. And then and, you, know, you have another chain reaction and, and people are following And you. look, you know, to, to jump right back to that, it's, it's, it's look, we, we had, um, we have something coming out a little later, right? Where I kind of went on a rat about, you know, my you views don't miss it. school, you don't yeah, miss stuff. It. And, and to kind of give you like a little bit more, like, I, I, I might say a sneak preview, right? But to kind of add on to that video that's coming in the future, the thing is that you do not have to follow into anybody's footsteps as far as, Oh, I go to high school, I have to go to college, right? You do not have to follow uh, or follow through trying to make your parents proud. You don't have to do that, yeah? I feel like a lot of us get pressured into that, right? To like, oh, I have to make my mom proud, I have to make my brother proud, whatever, right? And we kind of forget about ourselves, right? And the truth is that this is about you, you know? It's about your happiness because when you're your best self, you're going to give on to others a lot better, you get me? And if you're just down and so, you know... Look, right now, the it's all about attention period, right? So where the attention is at is social media. Like, like understand that. That's that, I think that's the best practical advice I can give you because right now, after you're done watching this, you can easily start your blog online if you don't want to show your face on YouTube, if you don't want to share your voice, or if you do, you can easily start a podcast right now. Go to start Anchor. Push yeah, go to Buzzsprout. Yeah, you can. Look, if you want to do fitness, you can, right after you're done with this, go watch a few workout videos, you know, start doing your thing, you know, but... It's so easy, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially now, you know, we have no excuses. And, you know, for us to build something nowadays is a lot easier than it was 30 years ago. You, know I mean? you do not need a brick and mortar house to start your cupcake company or to start your clothing brand or none of that. You Advertising know I mean? company. Right, like, you don't need any of that. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's just, you don't need, like, again, you know, brick and mortar, for those you don't know, is like the physical store. You know, you don't need that, you know? So, you know, we live in a, in, in a day and age where we can literally take what we want and start constructing now. Especially if you're young. If you're a teenager right now, you're 13, 14, 15, 16 years old. 
you can easily, let me start right now, and, and it, it's a process, you gotta understand hustle. that. Yes, exactly. It's a process, you gotta understand that it takes time and you have to hustle. But it's something that you should be passionate about. It's not something that, oh, I wanna make bread off of this. And unless that money's gonna take you to that point, because to some people it does. Some people really wanna mm -hmm. make money that bad, and it takes them to that point where they can surpass everything. Cool. But you know, you have to know what you're doing it for. You get know I me? Mean? Because if the, you know, you want a fat whip and you want a, a nice watch or whatever, if that's gonna drive you, you know, to get whatever it is that you want to get, cool, you know. But make sure you're doing it for you. Not to impress your friend or not to impress that girl or not to, you know, keep on hiding your insecurities. Because that's never going to make you a better person at the end. It's not going to help you get to your goals. You get me? Because the more we try to impress other people with things and stuff, the Lord we're going to bring ourselves. You know? If you can't afford to get something, don't try to stunt to get it. You get me? Everything is in its own time. There's going to be more cars, there's going to be more watches, there's going to be more shoes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, focus on you. You know what I'm saying? Focus on who you want to be, what you want to be to life. Because at the end of the day, I feel like we're all, you know, here to help each other anyways. You get me? One way or another, right? Whether you work for a corporation, you're helping that corporation now. Whatever you're doing, you're here to help people, period. You get me? So that one practical advice that I can give you is going to be to just get on it. Whatever it is that you want to do. Start right now. You, you you randomly saw this video four years ago, five years ago, this video posted, you're watching in 2025, whatever. Start right now because this is not the time for you to chill out. You know, the next four or five years is the money. Yeah, I mean, it's a hustle time. It's the time that you get up and you do what you have to do and you make it happen. You know, don't wait around and wait because I don't have this or I don't have that. No, make it happen now. So that's the best practical advice I think I can give you, anybody, whether you're in business or not. Yo, start now, man. Start right now is the time, you know? And I think you got one more thing you to say. You know what I wanted? I've always wanted to recreate our picture from 2006. We'll do that. No, we'll we throw that. that. That's got to be the thumbnail. We'll yes, get some that on Instagram. Instagram. You know? That would be, that would be a, dope, a dope pick. You know... Louis B, what's your personal Instagram? At Louis B94, that's L U I S B 94. Go to subscribe. Uh, Timus underscore LG. At Timus underscore LG. And your business, because I know you also have a yeah, business, business one, right? Oh, yeah. Louis B Toyota. I have so much faith. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you already know that. Well, what's your name? That's W Y G Z. I'm Christopher. Yes. There's a lot of Roman numbers on that shit. And oh, this is I'm down, man. Like, subscribe, comment, retweet, send it out. Let us are open for feedback. We'll have Louis on again for sure. And you already know. Bring me Thanos. Subscribe, buddy. Here we go. Do guys. Oh my